as you all are aware, the Council of State just uh, concluded its meeting uh, with all the former heads of state in attendance, uh, physically or virtually. Uh, the last count, I think, uh, quite most of them were uh, the physically attending ones, uh, the uh, former head of state, um, General Buhari, and um, uh, good luck, good luck, Jonathan, who are there physically, and the rest who are there virtually uh, via Zoom. So in essence, in principle, all of them were in attendance, and that's uh, a very eloquent testimony to uh, the kind of support that they are giving to uh, our current president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. A lot of uh, issues were exhaustively discussed at the meeting. And of course, you know that apart from the uh, former heads of state, the constitutional composition of, of the Council of State includes all governors, all governors, security advisor, attorney general, and the rest. So the governors were all in attendance as well. And uh, some of us ministers were invited to make presentations on our roadmap on what uh, we've been able to achieve, uh, the prospects and the challenges in our various uh, ministries. And so myself, the Solid Minerals, uh, the coordinating minister of uh, uh, the economy as the finance minister, Mr. Wali Edu, was also there to make presentation. The minister of budget was also there, made his presentation. The minister of works also made presentation. The minister of trade and investment, uh, Dr. Doris, was also there. The minister of agriculture also was invited. So these seven of us ministers uh, made individual presentations to the, to the Council of State meeting. And uh, our presentations were well received from the feedback that we got immediately after individual presentations. And of course, at the end of it, matters of state uh, were discussed uh, in a robust manner and frank manner. And um, the National Security Advisor also was on hand to present the security situation of the country, and he did inform the Council of State, you know, uh, about the pre, during, and post events of the last protest, uh, which I do not call a protest. I call a movement to effect a change of regime by force, which was also resisted. And so, you know, the Council thanked Nigerians at large for resisting any unconstitutional move to change government. If anybody is not satisfied with the government, any current administration, there's always an election coming. So you wait for election and cast your vote the way you deem fit. So the NSA briefed the council on the, the security situation and uh, allayed fears all around that In my books, that should be the thousand dollar fine. <laughs> so, after the NSA's uh, briefing, you know, generally he had laid uh, everybody's fears and uh, spoke on the tightness of the security around the country and uh, also reassured all and sundry that no nobody will be allowed to truncate our hard earned democracy. Any change of government has to be through the ballots and not through the barrel of the gun or through insurrection or through any other unconstitutional means. Only through the ballot box can any government be changed. And he reassured on the security readiness of all security agencies in the country you know, 
to secure our territorial integrity and to protect Nigeria.